Throughout history, there's always been two main paths, two main systems to achieving greatness. The way of the will and the way of the heart. We can put in the effort, we can show up every day, we can fight, we can achieve, and we can reach a state of greatness. Or we can trust, we can surrender, we can have faith, and we can put affirmations out to the universe, and we can achieve greatness. But the people who truly achieve a high state of success and a high power in this life are the ones who can marry these two energies together. Because if we're always just showing up and working and putting in effort and drive and achieving and achieving, but we don't have love and appreciation in our hearts, it doesn't matter how high we climb, it might never feel like enough. It's like, okay, I did all of that, but I can do more. These people are really ambitious. But we need to be able to appreciate the steps along the way. We need to be able to enjoy the fruits of our labor. So we're not just always feeling like I'm not good enough and I need more. On the other hand, if we don't have any of that self-confidence, we don't have that drive and willpower, and all we're doing is sitting around trusting that the universe will bring us exactly what we need, it can also bring us to a very high state. But we might end up giving, devoting so much of ourselves that we miss out on our own purpose, our own sense of greatness. So we want to work to really manifest our intentions on marrying the two of these, putting in the effort, having the confidence, having the self-worth to strive for what we want in this life, and also trusting, loving, having faith that our efforts will be received and they will come back to us tenfold because we deserve, because we put that effort in. We believe in ourselves and we believe in life and the world around us. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Today we're going to move from Manipura. We did a lot of Manipura. <laughs> now we're going to move into the heart, into that space in the center of the heart, into opening our chest, our lungs, opening ourselves to life, cultivating energies of trust, faith, and acceptance. It's a really beautiful space. It's a really beautiful energy. We are not just here to fight. We're here to love and enjoy as well. Grab your yoga mat. Let's get ready to practice. start as always by setting the space and setting our intention. So I invite you to find your comfortable seated position, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, nice tall spine, shoulders back and down so the heart is open, relaxed. Close the eyes, go inside, take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh, soften the body. Again, deep inhalation into the heart. And sigh it out. Oh, soften the mind. One more time. This time we hold the breath. Deep inhalation. Sniffing even more. Hold the breath and relax. Soften into this space. For three, two, one, sigh it out. <sighs> Sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Take a moment to take note of where you are now in your body, your energy, your emotions, and your mind. What is there? What is alive for you? And here we cultivate that acceptance, that allowing, trusting that we don't need to change anything. We just can allow whatever's there. We've already showed up. You've already succeeded today. Hmm. And from this space of presence, acceptance, and allowing, we bring the hands together in front of the heart. Focusing in the center of the chest. And start to bring to mind your intention. What are you working on manifesting? Bring it into your heart. Feel it. We don't just act towards it. We feel it. We embrace it. We love our intention. Feel it in your body. Your energy. Your emotions. And your mind. 
and repeat it three times. And with your intention crystallized, take a deep inhalation into the heart. Suspend the breath, focus in the heart center. Infuse your intention with trust and faith and love. And then let it go. <sighs> and come back. Beautiful. So we're going to be doing a Hatha Yoga class today for the stimulation activation of Anahata Chakra. We will start by warming the body with four rounds of Surya Namaskar. So let's make our way up to standing. <clears throat> Coming to the front of the mat. Standing nice and tall, feet slightly separated, parallel. Pressing down into the heels. Reaching up to the crown. Hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And we inhale the arms up, hips forward, arching back. Exhale, folding forward. Left foot steps back, left knee to the mat. Sink into the hips, inhale, open the chest, reaching forward through the heart. Exhale, back into plank. Nice, strong plank, take a deep inhalation. And exhale, the knees, chest and chin to the mat. Pressing in the hands, inhale through the cobra, heart is open. Exhale back into down dog. And take a moment here to walk out your dog. First down dog of the day. Bend one knee, press the opposite heel down. Maybe rock the hips, the shoulders, the hands, whatever you need. Let this subtle waking up be an act of love. Technically, down dog is a heart opener. As we reach the arms overhead here, we're really opening the chest, really opening the heart down to the earth. It's also an inverted pose where the heart is above the mind. They say if you want to make the best decisions in life, you make them with your heart, not with your mind. So this is a great pose to start to cultivate that heart over mind physically, and eventually in everything we do. Make your way into stillness. Take a deep inhalation. Reach the tailbone high. Exhale as you soften the heart down to the earth. With the next inhalation, the left foot steps forward. Right knee to the mat. Sink into the hips. Open the chest. Exhale the right foot forward, forward, fold. Bend the knees slightly, inhale all the way up, hips go forward, arching back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes close, attention inside. Feeling the effect of this first round of Surya Namaskar. Waking the physical body. Stretching the muscles. Lubricating the joints. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's prepare for our second round. Standing tall, hands at the heart. Deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And we begin. Inhale, the arms up and back. Hips forward, arching back. Exhale, diving down. Right foot steps back. Knee to the mat. Inhale, sink into the hips. Open the chest. Exhale, back to plank. Deep inhalation in plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Pressing in the hands, inhale forward to cobra. Exhale back into down dog. Take a moment here again. Pause, walk it out, wiggle, jiggle, whatever you need. Hmm. And slowly make your way into stillness. Take a deep inhalation. 
Exhale and soften into the pose. The next inhalation, the right foot comes forward. Left knee to the mat, sink into the hips, open the chest. Exhale, the right left foot forward. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Eyes close, attention inside. <clears throat> Feeling the effect of this second round of Surya Namaskar. Greater opening of the body. Creating heat, mobility, flexibility. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's do two more rounds. Standing nice and tall. Deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. And inhale up and back. Exhale, diving down. Left foot steps back. Knee to the mat. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, back to plank. Deep inhalation. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Inhale through to cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Left foot steps forward. Inhale. Right foot steps forward. Exhale. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Standing nice and tall, deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and one more round. Inhale, up and back, exhale, diving down, right foot steps back, knee to the mat, inhale, exhale to plank, deep inhalation, exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat, inhale to cobra, Exhale to down dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale. Left foot steps forward. Exhale. Inhale up and back. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Eyes close. Attention inside. Feeling the effect of these four rounds of Sarya Namaskar. Opening and expansion of the body. Awakening the nervous system, the energetic body, feeling lightness as we start the fire that burns away the heavy energies. Mm, beautiful. Gently coming back. We'll make our way down to sitting. So the first pose we're going to do today is a variation of the cobra pose known as the sphinx pose again we're going to be practicing these poses as a hatha yoga so remembering energy flows where the mind goes so we're using our mind to send energy to send our awareness and constantly bringing the energy back into the space in the center of the heart so you can just watch me first or if you're familiar with the pose you can come to the belly but what we're going to be doing is from the floor we're going to come up on the elbows the elbows are directly under the shoulders, fingers are spread wide. And what we want to do here is we really want to reach the heart forward. So we're really opening this space in the center of the chest. We lift the chin enough that we feel an opening here, but not so much that we feel the opening more in the throat. And then we're just going to hold this and really go into meditation, really drop into the heart scent there and try to feel this energy building in the center of the chest. Okay, so everybody come down to lying on your belly. We'll all start together. We're going to be doing this pose for three minutes. So don't go to your 100%. Go to where it's comfortable for you. Okay, <clears throat> we'll start by opening the spine by doing this movement dynamically first. So hands by the shoulders. And just press on the hands. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. And last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, if you're someone who cobra is very comfortable pose, you can do cobra. Um, but if it's not the most comfortable for you, I recommend sphinx pose, at least for today. We'll be revisiting 
uh, this sort of practice later and we'll go a bit deeper. Whatever works for you in your practice. <laughs> so have the hand somewhere beside the head. And we're going to inhale up. Coming into the position, resting on the elbows. Elbows are shoulder distance apart, directly under the shoulders. Fingers are spread wide and the whole arm is engaged. From here, we reach the heart forward. We lift the chin slightly, close the eyes, and bring all of your awareness to the center of the chest. Try to feel any sensations in the center of the chest. Might just be a stretch, might be a tingle, vibration, pulsing, throbbing, spaciousness, numbness, whatever is there, focus your awareness in the center of the chest, the activation of Anahata Chakra, our center of love, compassion, and acceptance. At any point the mind starts to wander, just gently bring it back to the space in the center of the chest. Anahata Chakra. Two more minutes. And gently releasing, lowering down to the mat. Make a pillow for your forehead with the back of the hands. Lying with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. Feeling the expansion in the center of the chest. Arousal of Anahata Chakra. Feelings of affection without an object and the experience of the ever-present, unconditional, universal love. Gently coming back. From here, we're going to slowly transition into child's pose. So separate the knees slightly. Rest the hips back towards the heels. Reach the arms forward as much as you can, really opening the chest. And then you can either rest the chin or the forehead on the mat. Close the eyes and bring all of your awareness to the center of the chest. 
Let this pose be one of bowing, of worship to yourself, to the energy of love, acceptance, faith in life, trust in the universe to bring you all that you need to achieve everything you desire. Feel the love of yourself and of life and focus your awareness in the center of the chest, Anahata Chakra. Keeping the mind focused in the center of the chest, anahata, 90 more seconds. And that will do. Resting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the expansion of energy in the chest. Softness in the body. Lightness. Feeling of surrender and acceptance. Trust. And gently make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. <clears throat> Our next pose, we're going to use a very special mudra, a special energetic gesture. It's a little bit complicated, and I'll try to do my best to explain it. We want to take the right hand <clears throat> across the front of the body and reach towards the left shoulder blade. And then we want to take the left hand across the body and reach towards the right shoulder blade. Okay? Left hand towards the... Sorry, right hand towards the left shoulder blade. Left hand towards the right shoulder blade. It's a little bit complicated, but let's try. So right hand across the body, reaching towards the left shoulder blade. Left hand across the body, reaching towards the right shoulder blade. And really try to squeeze here. Go inside. Relax here. Go into this sacred space. And feel what it's like to be held in these arms. 
these arms so full of love, care, comfort, protection. If you want to go deeper into the pose, you can turn the corners of the mouth upwards. You can turn the corners of the mouth upwards. And before you release the pose, take a moment of awareness. Take a moment to say thank you to yourself. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you to this body, this vehicle you have in this life. Thank you to the energy that moves and motivates you. Thank you for all the emotions that help us to grow and learn and expand. And thank you for the mind that understands, that teaches us, that evolves. What a beautiful, beautiful system this is. Take a deep inhalation, squeeze the arms very tight. Say thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And release. <laughs> Did I trick you? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this class. Let me know how it was for you. I know we did a little bit of a strange mudra at the end, but I hope you enjoyed it. Sending you all my love. Namaste.